So here we are in the rear door of our E46 sedan, again, or wagon. It's done in a manner identical to the front. So let's go ahead and, and start with, again, the most challenging part, which is the, the window switch in this instance. So we're going to take our plastic panel removal tool and be very careful prying it up and out. And then we'll just unplug it, put it out of the way. That's going to reveal a Torx T20, just like up on the front. So we'll get that guy loose and out of the way. Again, we've got the two tabs down here. By the fourth door, you'll have developed eyeballs on your fingers. You'll be able to get a good feel for it. So we've got those guys all loose. Uh, again, this is an amazing car. This one has leatherette. Perhaps that's what the, the deal is here. I don't know. I have never come across one this tight. It's actually now coming quite nicely. Just, just be deliberate and thorough in your, and again, it's going to come unhooked from there. Yep, they all came out as well. So, again, not the end of the world, but we'll have to put them back together here in a few moments. So with that exposed, again, this one up here is really tight. There. This guy here. I just like to start on the back edge of these rear doors just because it's easier to get your hand back behind here. It just, it'll fit automatically. So you just kind of use your hands. I, I try to minimize the use of tools on the door panels. It's just kind of been my guiding light over the years. I've never broken one. Maybe that's a good sign. So using our hands, working around. Then we'll come up to the top. Panel off. Again, disconnect the door panel, like so. Unplug the speaker. Let's see, we'll need our panel removal tool to get this guy loose. Like so. And now, we'll take our rear door panel up to our clean workspace and finish up the speaker installation. All right, so on our rear door speaker, it's very similar to the front in terms of how it adheres. It, it screws on from the back side, but it's actually an entire assembly that screws onto the grill on the front side. So we take our hand and secure the grill on the front side, and then we just remove the speaker from the back side. You can see it's kind of an interesting way it's fastened. And the way it's attached to this ring, you can see there's an outer ring, and then there's a seam along there. And that's where the speaker is attached to the ring. It's just glued. BMW is only glued the speaker in there and it's not it's not too complicated so using your right angle pick you see there's a hole there a hole there and a hole back here at the terminals let's kind of pry a little bit because all we're doing is just breaking the seam of the glue and it can take sometimes I mean it can take a few minutes this one's coming out pretty much right away so we're just prying like so you can see <laughs> the speaker is just glued in there, so it's nothing complicated at all. And when we've got the speaker out, we take our new BSW mid-range, and just like we had to do on the front a little bit, you can see it just sits right down in there quite nicely. So we've got two different option, mounting options for these mid-ranges, and it really depends on, on when you've made the order. Um, we've got a little tube of glue, again, that we would just put dabs, four little blobs, just like four little dabs to hold the, the mid-range down. Let it sit for 30 minutes or so. We want to make sure it's properly cured. If you've ordered it later and you're watching this, I don't know, 2011, um, you will have gotten a little machined bracket, which is pretty cool. It's going to have a little bump stop on the back, a little piece of foam that's going to get everything nice and snug. But essentially, it just works like so. And you can see it just snaps everything down. And that way you don't need any glue on the back side of these things. So guys, when you're reinstalling this metal bracket, you want to be careful. Uh, while we've instructed our manufacturers to roll these edges, this is just stamped steel. And so these edges can be kind of sharp. So if you're not sure or you're unsure, I would recommend putting on some gloves maybe when you're tightening this down just to prevent any issues with maybe you know cutting your hand. It's not it's not likely to happen, but in the event it does, we want to warn you that it is a possibility. So make sure that the edges are around, or better yet, just put on a glove and, and knock out the install. Okay, so we're in the back seat of our E46 sedan or wagon. We're going to get this door panel back on and finish up our stage one. 
Uh, first thing we're going to do is bring our window control switch back through. Go ahead and plug in the windows. We don't want to forget that. Put that back into place. We'll get that situated. Plug in our mid-range driver. Reconnect our door handle like so. And again, we always hook our lock first. Kind of tentatively line it up. Push down on the top. And using the palm of our hand. Perfect. We're going to make sure your seams are nice and tight. And at this point, we just take our bits, reattach everything, and complete the install process. It's very straightforward. As you can see, train's coming. Get to hear the train. Guys, welcome back. Here we are finishing up our stage one in an E46 sedan. The coupes are very similar. Um, some of them are even identical, meaning we can simply pop the grills out. Your coupe may have a grill, which is all integrated into the seat latch mechanism. So if that's the case in your coupe, you'll simply pop off this cover. This is a 13 millimeter nut. We're going to remove that bolt rather, pull it out, and then the entire grill will lift out. So the first thing we would have to do would be removing that in our coupes. But in the sedans, we don't have to sweat it, but I just wanted to go over that with you real quick. So to pry these grills out, especially if the car is older, this can be quite brittle, so be careful. Um, they're not expensive to replace, but um, you know we'd rather not replace it if we don't have to. Um, so the first thing we want to do is get our plastic panel removal tool. Remember, plastic here, no metal. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. There's just a little, little plastic clips. And again, they're very brittle, especially in the older cars or in California cars that are always out in the sun. It's the price we pay for living out here, I guess. Brittle speaker grills. I think most of us will take it though. All right, so it can be, sometimes when you get in this back edge, your fingers are a better tool. We just pop it out. This one actually, this is a 10 year old car and it's still in pretty good shape. So this one stayed together quite nicely. So that reveals our mid base driver here, which you can see this is the driver's side or passenger side. The driver's side didn't fare so well. You can see this one came completely separated. Um, this car was had a horrible buzz. These speakers are just made out of paper. Um, there's really not a lot they can do in terms of standing up to the elements. So um, they suffer. So these are held in simply by three eight millimeter bolts be very careful back here when you're working you don't want to nick the windshield so we take our eight millimeter pop it out like so then we simply lift up there's a plug back here i don't know if you guys can see that simply squeeze the tabs pull out like that all right guys so now that we've got our speaker over here I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to plug it in. On both sides, on the left side and the right side, we've got a plug with two wires. One wire, one plug rather, is blue with brown and the other plug is yellow with brown. In both cases, browns are negative and then the colored wires are positive. So blue is positive on this side, yellow on the driver's side. So again, brown negative, color positive. Um, that being said, red is always positive on our wire, black is always negative on our wire. So red to color. They just slot right in and brown to black, just slots right in like so, and it's secure. Um, what we're going to do to make this sit properly down in here, we actually take the boot off of the magnet, off of the motor structure. So now you'll have a BSW kind of beer holder, if you will. So now we take our new speaker and we drop the whole thing down like so. Put the new screws in, put the new screws in, and as we pan from the passenger side to the driver's side, 
there you have it. <laughs> we do want to reinstall this foam piece between the speaker itself and the grill. So that being said, we take the piece of foam, install it like such, and then we take our grill. There we go. And then very firm, don't push in the middle. Very firm, uniform pressure, and we're done. So of course, repeat the process on the other side. At this point, we can go ahead and toss in the headrest. Take our beer, BSW beer slash, I don't think that'll fit a wine bottle holder, out and uh, enjoy. So that's it guys, that's gonna finish up the rear speakers and our sedan, and again, the coupe, if you'll recall. Deal with the tie downs. And that's it, we're ready to head up front and enjoy music with our uh, new stage one speaker upgrade.